first series on this map too, just because there's so much high ground here on city center. You need to be able to take uh, pillar, be able to take the jump pad oh. area as well. That dive comes in and just yeah. deletes. Yeah, there, there's almost no way Crimzo is going to survive that unless he has the the pre armor pack. You really have to make sure you know when the dive is coming, but that can be wrong. Oh, there's the nano, there's the blade. Transcend is going to come out just in time, but Paintbrush is caught out on the sidelines. Numlock falls, but you're losing a healer here if you're the fuel. You only have Crimzo to discord somebody. You're going to look to delete them, like I said before, but the healing is just way too great for the Defiant now. Gamsu and Doha can't survive. A uh, miracle self destruct it would have been, but not to be. Even a pulse bomb is actually thrown out on top of him. Rally at the end there for Cruz. Maybe a little bit too. For it. He's like, please give me a target to play. He doesn't have the nano to back him up. Sleep is going to get deflected. He jumps straight on the arm. It gets booped, though. Doesn't quite secure the kill on it, but the rest of the team did. Both supports dead for the Defiant. They know they don't really need to use anything here. No self-destruct or primal rage required. They've got 99%, so they can yep. let this one go. No need to stall out when you're at 99%. That's just feeding at that point, so that's the award. Nice little stick on the back of Cruz. That's a good opening. That's an even better one from Note as well. Cruz will go down into Toronto support line. Their history. And so is the rest of their team. Dallas Fueler able to. He's get slipped as well. Oh my word. Can he get finished up though? That's the question. Crimzo's alone now in the support role as uh, Paintbrush does end up falling down. That uh, Primal Rage and Winter's going to do a whole bunch. He nanos the Diva just as a panic as Numlock jumps on him and just secure the kill. He's hoping to note to try and find something but the rest of his team are going to fall by the wayside. Self-destruct on the point. Toronto find the flip. Emergency Lucio from Paintbrush to try and get the touch. He gets instantly naded and finished off by Kariv. And now the ball to take care of the rest. Can't really do all too much now. They're even body blocking to make sure he can't just swing around the main point. And there's only got going down as well. There's the blade. There's the sleep. <laughs> Straight on him again. And the nade to finish it off. Back to back. Sidelines though. There you go. You can see now he's just managed to spot out Gamsu and Note diving in. Agility's on the back of it though. He does manage to kill Crimzo. They do trade it out with a kill onto Cruz. Logic's had nowhere to go. Tracks inside a bubble. Couldn't even use the Storm Arrow to get away. And the Tesla Coil damage through the shield. Finishes off career. Rather quick and clean team fight there from the field. Yeah, this works out well for Dallas as far as the composition goes. Pure anti dive, yeah, like you said. Logic's. Just survives. That's the beautiful thing about Torb. You hit E and then just spam right click. Oh, it's so beautiful when you get a few headshot uh, markers as well. Oh, the turret finished off Only God. Whoops, Daisy. Not sure uh, where Only God was there on the backside of it all, but uh, the blade is just—I mean, sorry—the the Torb is just so good at stopping these blades coming out as well. You just hit armor key, you just hit E, and then run away. It looks so funny. Doha is going to fall. Crimson as well. Agility is cleaning up. He's got the blade. They're going to have Nano for next fight as well. Only God taking him out shouldn't mean a whole t uh, whole bunch. They're trying to stall out for as long as possible, though. That's a lot of... Oh, okay. Uh, they want the Winston. Yeah, Nano wants a Numlocked as well. Okay, whoops. I think it was a worried fadeaway because Kariv had just slept the monkey and then he got woken up and Kariv actually oh, died. Oh, you don't need the Nano when you can do stuff like that. Mr. Agilities. One, two, three kills with the blade. Even the Transcenders came out of green. There was no way near the blade. Oh, he dashes in and the flux comes out as well. The armor's still going to be able to stack up, but every so low. Molten Core kills Gamsu as he returned back to Earth. Toronto Defiant still hold on to the point. The Pulse Bomb's going to be able to take out Logics, but... Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say, if no <laughs> Numlog didn't die to that, I'd be very surprised. No, at least with a couple, three kills, in fact, actually. Onto Agilities and Cruz. That self-destruct was perfect there. Split Toronto Defiant right stage and sent us to a stage three. Notably, there is no nano anymore for the Dallas Fuel. Ooh, dash straight into notes. He actually headshot him with the Shuriken too. That's another kill. Oh, Brady and Blades. What goes better together? Not much else. Make that a third. Come on. It's going to be so hard for Doha to do anything. He's seen getting chunked out by their turret already. Gamsu goes low in Primal Rage. Even now the nade on top of him too. Stick Good though. Pulse Bomb from Rody God started off. They're going to use the Transcendence to try and snowball this out of control to fight under a lot of pressure. Doha jumps to the back. Kills Logic somehow. Pretty hard to kill a Torb normally, but probably out of armor in that situation. Dallas Fuel now 93% and building as Toronto need to get back to the point. Oh, really nice from Crimzo there. He puts the Discord onto uh, the tanks gonna. and then then is able to transcend. Dallas to Tracer too, because you have control of that mega health pack, which is a little bit out of the way, but fairly easy for Tracer to get on top of. Kariv just gets instantly discorded though. 
and a dump, uh, a dive was initiated at the back. And they, yeah, and they dumpstered them. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what was going on. I was definitely yeah. trying to say dumpstered. 100%. Well, either way. Still a lot of time they have and a lot of uh, ults potentially coming online. Doha can build these plays up so fast with the change, those right clicks. Just do so much work, especially to beefy tanks like the Orisa and the Sigma. However, Logic's taking out Crimzo is a, the perfect start for the perfect storm for Toronto. That will be a, a quick team fight for them. And they got Blade coming up as well. They can armor pack and even rally for this next fight to make sure agility. Racer and even again, G. So Gamsu's back in. They're going to try to dive again. Primer Age in a small room. Oh, he's going to get rocked though, so uh, can't really get the juggle out. Numlock falls as well to note. They use the Transcendence aggressively yet again. Agility did pull out the blade, but it got nothing done. There's no finish him off. Just no missiles, no nothing. Just plain left click, and then Crimson and only got just run over everybody else. But um, he didn't manage to get it. Duh, Karim is stuck on the roof. Okay, self-destruct launched in to clear everybody out. That Molten Core is pretty intelligent, I think. Uh, just stopping people from diving in on them when the self-destruct was getting launched in as well. There's the blade from Doha. He's fully stocked up on the armor as well. Go straight for the tank. Too much damage for Nevix to deal with. Karim and Cruz were backed off into this corner as well as you saw Gamsu and Note just try and make sure that they were nowhere near the tanks so they could heal them up. A nice little slice and die straight onto Logic 2. This should just be it. No way the Defiant can come back from this one. It's the time we were talking about. They needed to integrate Only God into this comp and into the team even, sorry. And it's looked almost perfect from the fuel so far. This is what the fans were hoping for. Yeah, it, it's like when a player comes to a new team in any sort of other sport, but if they had played that system before, they understand it, or, or that concept of... Maybe, I don't entirely know. That's very bad news. As, uh, now your only damage is going to be a Genji, which isn't the most consistent in the world at trying to do damage, although I say that, look at Doha just <laughs> slow! That's the ghost dash! Oh my goodness, that's four kills. Didn't expect that, and neither did the Defiant. Agility finds one kill, but they still managed to cap. Anyway, Doha's got a blade. Oh, there's the blade for agility. He did get stunned. He's demontality field though, but he's so low. No, just finish him off with a punch. The blade for Doha is a little bit better though. He gets the reset off of Cruz. He's just pogoing on the head of the Orisa. You're not going to escape that one, unfortunately, Seb. And now Dallas Fuel on the point. Toronto, they've got a chance though. Gamsu oh, did end up going down, but Logic's sad to say goes down to a venom mine. That's two ticks acquired. They have got the Genji back on the point, mind you, and Nevix could come back with a flux too. Yeah, this is not over. As Dallas didn't put a lot of pressure on the point, they were chasing down kills. Kariv, stop. Hey, okay, Kariv, stop. Okay, please stop this man. Nice little reflect. And a dash into the corner. Logic's ended up going down. They've actually jumped onto the Wrecking Ball as well to get back to the point in time. That Flux was met with a lamp. They survive. Two ticks and counting for the fuel. No, someone needs to touch, so there we go. They won't cap for a brief moment, but it shouldn't matter. They've got all the bodies that they need on the point. Now it's just about cleaning on up. Logic falls, and now the ball comes in to contest for longer. Should have the stuns to deal with it, though. The Rock as well should finish it off. There you go. Still going, though. Okay, <laughs> Nevix goes in with a charge. These fights take years. There's Gariv, end up going down also four minutes in the time bank for the fuel. A Rock will finish off Cruz and end the push. The fuel! Agility is going to have a tough time actually getting in here because they are holding high ground and low. Although, note, takes a Discord Orb and then everything else landed on top of it and Agility and Kariv end up finishing him off. It's a perfect pit. You play split like that. It's a little bit more difficult for the healers. Only God takes an arrow to the head. That'll be Defiant now pushing on to the point. Fuel, I'm not sure they can go for this recontest unless only got switches. No, they definitely no, no, no. can't anymore because yeah, they're Dallas, I, I kind of assumed they were just going to rotate just to try to leave, and now you just try to do something, and that's yeah, that's you what go. you do right there. Yep. So bad either, although that blister is coming online so, so soon, 10% away. Cruz desperately trying to keep people alive. Those shields getting in the way of his healing. You can see everybody just going red. Oh, Agilities, though. He still gets taken down with a swift headshot from Doha, even committing the Blizzard to guarantee them the fight. The point isn't being contested right now. As Gamsu end up going down, the Blizzard did actually nothing, Hex. Yeah, that Blizzard d did negative work, it seemed. All the abilities were up, the Fortify was there. I mean, Talos has gotten a couple kills on defense. Oh, this is the money spot, though. It's yeah. where you want to be. <laughs> on defense, too. They drop down and only God just turns it into a game of Duck Hunt. Yeah, they don't At least they take the high ground. A little bit of a, a big rotation from both teams, actually switching sides. They do end up trading. I say that as Crimson Falls. 
Good position though for the uh, the Defiant as they are on the high ground. Now they just need to pressure out this main tank. Doha couldn't stand a chance against Nevix who had the high ground advantage on him. And now they can just set up shop on the point. The trades are fine for Dallas though. They were able to get a couple early on. And oh, that's going to mean that Kariv has to, get, has to switch to Lucio just to get back. Oh man, that was sad. Agilities was trying so, so hard. Prado is going to have Rally too. Oh, there's the Nano Blade. Yeah, they're posturing for it so, so well. Oh, Agilities. Yeah, he got rocked. So I think he got stunned and just pushed off. And the Blade was way better for Doha. Nano or not. He actually got supercharged there. So didn't get the damage resist, but the damage buff was such. That showed he got stunned. Toronto going to push rally. him to rally. Oh, no. Look at the isolation on the side, though. Yeah, he was half HP by the time he hit the ground and uh, insta-killed with that flux. A minute and 20 seconds now remains for the fuel to defend. And they were able to just, even if Toronto Defiant secure it now, it's going to be a perfect spot here. Look at the ults, too. There's Doha. He's got the armor. He goes for the blade in the back line. Does get stunned, but the rest of his team were able to do the damage. At least gets one kill to his name. This is going to be it, I think. No way Toronto Divine can. Toronto not out of this. Yeah, Doha knows it as well. He's just trying to focus someone out. He's found Divine Logics in the side. Tried to go for a flank. Bob did land on the point, but it's going to get taken out by Gamsu. They are Logics down. Agility's going for the blade. He requires something big. He finds not two, enough. but only God waiting in the wings, picking him up. The defensive spawns are now way too great for the Divine to deal with. Fuel find the team wipe, and that is a 2-0 scoreline now in the series. 9%, they're gonna have it. He's waiting for it. Doha is lining up. It's just he's only 5% away. There's the nano, there's the blade. Deflect on the sleep. Insta kill onto Kariv. Dashes to the back line. Can't quite find the brig. 180s gets it, but gets meleeed by Logics in the end. But the damage has already been done. Numlocked as well went down to the hands of Only God. And now Gamsu pushing everybody back all the way to that spawn point. And that should be a cap for the fuel. There it is. Four minutes and ten seconds to move on to third. Well, he completely locks the door, and this is not where you really want to be spawning. It's going to be interesting to see if Dallas tries to clean up these kills, because spawning there usually really hurts your squad, and you have to jump off the edge. But yeah, I think that. Toronto are just going to take this as a chance to fight on the payload again, rather than resetting. Instead, to try and stop that blade from doing anything. But he's got boot back in the meantime, though, and he does have the extra dash, but he hits shield bash straight away, taken out by Painbrush. That's the perfect kiting from the fuel to stop that blade from doing anything, Hex. Yeah, really nice. And you can Nano Winston there and not even worry about it because during the Nano Blade, you wait or you just go Blade here. No, I think no you wait. Yeah. Oh, no, he's going anyway. It doesn't matter. Straight into the floor. Gets the reset off Roki, but off Logic's on the side. He was so close to him too. I would love to see that POV. Only God will take to the sky. Take Leg uh, Logic's head clean off as well. Still a bad spot for them to be in though. Nice sleep onto a It doesn't matter though. Let's be real. Spawn well, advantage still God's for life. the Defiant. <laughs> oh, this is a nano boost onto Gamsu. I like the way they're using the nanos. He's going to get bio grenade, but it's going to mean little to nothing. Agility is going to go down. Roki as well to Doha's hands. He's going to be able to keep the rest of them in spawn as well. A couple of meters now remains for the fuel to get onto this last point. Doha might be able to earn himself another blade at this rate as well. He's charging these just crazy short amount of time. Nevix falls, there's only the Prime War Agent Winston. There's the blade. Dash into spawn from Roki. Shield bashing away from the fight. But the blade is way too much damage for them to deal with. They do kill Crimson. But it is all Dallas fuel in the kill feed. One minute and 29 seconds in the time bank for the next team. Blue box a little bit more difficult to land a nade on. You can try to hit the ceiling. There's the nano, there's the blade. Dash straight in. Agilities finds two and everybody falls to the ground right on his lap. There's the fourth as well. Agilities, that's what I want to see. You said it before, Hex. Hey, uh, Genji is a wonder to watch, and you're seeing right here why he's one of the most popular heroes in the game. If you can pull off yeah. stuff like that, it feels all so good. Oh, that's all he needs. Let's make him glow. Make him a bigger <laughs> target. Oh, nice kill on to note. Again, he's getting perma pocket by Roki as well, so Agility is just doing an absurd amount of damage with that damage boost. Oh, Numlox is in the back. Sleep. Unfortunately, gets woken up, though. And now he's going to be able to push out the, uh, the rallying brig, which is going to stop a lot of that armor going through. Doha gets taken out by Logix, who can sit back in the server room. The rallying Brig on the payload got naded, so no healing for you. And that will be the second point capped. Rather fast time, mind you, as well, uh, regardless of yeah. this reset happening. Well, they're, they're keeping pretty pace. good if you're Toronto. Yeah, so nice fight, Toronto, showing signs of life after the pause. There's an anime yet again. They're all in a small room. Crimson's history. So is Paintbrush. No one escaping him. 
Even Gamsu tried in there to try and get something. He was like, I'm going to kill him, I swear. I got the damage. But it's not going to happen. Agilities with a 5k, 6k, maybe. Oh, he's poisoned. Can he get him? There's a lot of people in the spawn, though. Yeah, no way. Doha's going to try and touch just in time. No one can get there. And a steamroll for the Defiant. Regardless of Cruz DCing or not, spirits are definitely rising high right now. Yeah, it's so important to be able to get that capture point too. And 450 on the clock to blaze through seconds. Ever so close to that nano. That combo is going to come online them for yet again. There you go. Dash straight to the back of the sleep. Misses. Oh, paintbrush, please run. He gets moved away. The anti-synergy, but what was that? He deflected something. I'm not entirely sure what it was. Potentially a shot from Only God directly into paintbrush. And Agilities finds the kill onto note as well as Doha. Oh, Brady is so good at this game. Just give him the Genji 24-7. Never nerf him, please. Grips just trying to desperately keeping his supports alive. There's the blade. Can he find anything? He's got the nade on him. That's almost perfect. Agility's managed to find him at least secure in the kill. Logix is also going to erase Only God. And now it's only the tanks and the supports left for the fuel to get on the point. But they've still got the ults. Gamsu. And Note are ready and waiting. Oh, Agilities. Yeah, he's got nothing to swing at. He unleashes the blade. He didn't have the nano at his back, so I wasn't all wasted. Fuel still have a spawn advantage. And Doha and Only God get back onto the point. It's Tracer and Doom and clean up the rest. Super intelligent switches here. I mean, Doha is able to come back out and then the Tracer to come back out as well because he can get more done. Who can hit a sleep dart? Who can get hit a stun? Nano play in the back first. like Overwatch of old. A perfect play for Doha. Instantly killing the support. Oh, Logic doesn't stand a chance. The perfect ghost dash as well back into spawn. Doha? Hello? No one. Well, there's two people on the point, but no supports. All this damage is permanent. Numlock, Sayonara. The self destruct on the point to find something, but it's bubbled. Doha oh, it's dies Doha. the victory firework. Dallas <laughs> Fuel will take the W.